Hi friends, this is Bharat. Today we are going to talk about debugging threads in Visual Studio. Program gets executed as a process through threads. You can run several simultaneous threads in your program. Parallel processing using many threads can improve program performance, but it may also make debugging more difficult. Visual Studio provides various features to make it simple. Threads window, parallel stacks, parallel watch make it possible to see what threads is currently executing. Show threads in source, flag threads, filter threads by ID, freeze and throw will be of great help especially when your program has a lot of threads and you want to see a specific thread. Deadlock and race conditions can be avoided by debugging all possible scenarios. We will now see a quick demo with a code snippet and debug it to see the results in action. Let's jump right in. I have a simple code which is going to spawn up two threads, thread first and thread second. And both the threads are going to execute long running process which is going to execute for two seconds. I kept a breakpoint here to see debugging in action. Let's execute the code. I have already opened few windows. You will have to go to debug windows and open the parallel stacks, parallel watch and threads. These are available here already. So threads is open here, parallel watch and parallel stacks are available. As you can see, there are a couple of threads. One is a main thread which has executed the main code and I have the first thread already executed and it is currently waiting in this breakpoint. This is a worker thread. The parallel stacks helps us to understand what function is currently under execution pictorially. As you can see, long running process is currently under execution that is indicated by this yellow arrow mark. And similarly, this yellow mark is also available here, which is which worker thread is currently under execution. You can look at the variables by entering the variable name uh, in this parallel watch window to know the details the quick watch of that particular variable. So right now, the variable i is initialized to zero. Let's execute it and see where it goes. Now the second thread has spawn up and both the threads has the i value to zero. And the same is reflected in parallel stacks. You can look at the threads in source by right clicking on the thread and then clicking on show threads in source. I have done it for the main thread as well as for the first thread and you will be able to see that the main thread is executing this piece of code which is console.read which is in the static void main. I am going to continue executing this program to see few pointers moving so that we can get few data in the parallel watch and in other windows. So as you can see the i value in thread 1 it's the first thread is 4 and thread 2 is 3. And we have the pointers already moved a couple of times and the parallel stacks window is also getting refreshed. If you are having multiple threads in your program, then you can conditionally filter out few of the threads by either using the conditions here in the breakpoint or you can flag the thread and then click on the filter so that only that particular thread will be shown or will hit the breakpoint. So for example, I have clicked on the first thread and I have also clicked on show only the flagged thread and continue executing. It will only hit the first thread breakpoint and the second and the main thread is already gone from the threads window. The other way to conditionally hit a breakpoint or conditionally debug a particular thread is to click on the setting in the breakpoint, click condition and select filter. We can either apply the condition by the thread ID or the name. Since we already have the name, let us enter thread name equals first. And when we execute it, you will be able to see that only the first thread is getting debugged. These tools help debugging much simple in a multi-threaded application. I want you to remember that hitting a breakpoint in a particular thread 
will also pause the other threads as well. It means that the entire program is waiting in this breakpoint. And applying these filter conditions helps you to debug one particular thread in isolation. It also means that the other threads are also executing, but it is not going to hit the breakpoint. But if you want the other threads not to execute and to execute a particular thread in isolation, then you can use the feature called freeze and thaw. So you can go ahead and then freeze a particular thread. As you can see, the entire process is under pause mode now. When you execute the code now, you can completely debug a particular thread, which is thread first or the thread which has the ID 12820 in isolation. These tools helps to debug and find out the issues in a multi-threaded application in a very easy and a user-friendly way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.